Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is one that I've been wanting to make for such a long time. It is of the Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous Oranosaurus. I love, I actually really like this figure. It's not even out of the box yet and already I'm in love with it. Where did I put the scissors? Oh, oh it's one of those figures where you have to put in the tail. So that might take a little while. I'll edit this out if it takes a little while. Why is there so many plastic everywhere? Ah. <laughs> well, there's half of the dinosaur. How to get the other half? Okay, get, get in. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, that took a little while, but the tail just wasn't coming in, wasn't going in. So I didn't know what to do. I was pushing it in and it just wasn't going in. But anyways, here's the figure itself. And I think it looks pretty good. I've already listened to one of the sounds that makes... The button that you press to make the sounds is in a bit of a weird position, but... I'm not complaining. What the heck? I barely touched the button. So... Can I talk now? Thank you very much. So this, I already love this figure. As I said, the sound effects sound pretty cool. They sound like, it sounds like an overgrown duck. It looks like an, it sounds like an overgrown duck. Its face looks like that of an overgrown duck. I actually really like this. So let's get started with the paint, which I think looks pretty good. I was kind of already a fan of their design in Camp Cretaceous, which, if you know your Jurassicness, you'll probably recognize that it as being very similar to the ones from Operation Genesis. You know, with the brown bodies and the red sails. Or were they red? They're like a mix of red and orange. So. My god, would you stop, please? Sorry, I can't help myself. So, yeah, this figure looks pretty... Not very similar to that. So, color scheme-wise, I think it looks really good. I think green is a pretty good color for most of these figures. I also really like the hints of yellow on the sail. I love how they didn't just paint the whole sail yellow. I love how they just went in little streaks. And down the middle, too. I also love how they added some orange on the bottom of the jaw and the neck. I think it looks pretty good. And there's also a bit of bluish green color on the mouth. And the eyes look pretty cool too. They're dark orange. Oh, they have gray pupils. <laughs> I think this Aranosaur is blind. It's got friggin' gray pupils. In articulation, I already showed you, you press the button forward or backward, it makes the head go up and down. <laughs> Look, he's giving you a hug. So yeah, this thing is pretty cool. The legs, you can really articulate however you want. And the tail, you can just also do whatever you want for that. Okay, I don't know what the point of the tail is being articulated right here, because it doesn't do anything. You can move it in any way direction, and it's just not doing anything. So, can't give them any points for that. Also, the head is also its own articulated piece. That's pretty cool. 
Also, there's a bit of a goldish color on the bottom where the speaker is and the screw. Also looks pretty good. Only real problems I see with this figure is I don't know why they painted that look didn't paint that little bit of sail on the tail. Never mind. Also, again, as with all Mattel figures, they didn't paint the toes. So, can't give them any points for that. But all in all, I really like this figure. I think you should definitely pick it up. I have no clue how much it costs. I I don't know how much it costs. I got it for Christmas. I didn't pay for this, so... I do not have a clue. You you guys are on your own. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any new videos. See you guys in the next one.